<laughs> so she asked you, told you about the book, and then you're told 2,000 words. Was that hard to do? Or? Yeah, it's really hard, really hard. Because it was in English, I studied English when I wrote the book. So my English teacher helped me to write the book. And um, because I need to send to the editor every time, I, my friends helped me too. So how many people helped me to write the book? Maybe around four. <laughs> <laughs> Four or five, yeah, because I said them and I say, what do you think, it makes sense, or, you know, because I think in English, in Spanish, and I need yes. to translate in English, so I want to, um, I want to give my message, you know, like, like me, you know, it, it's, and, and it was amazing, because Karen Dix is the editor of the book, and we connect at the same time. I can't believe it. So I, I, I text her, oh, my, my English is not too good, so I'm trying hard. So, And she connects oh, with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are practicing um, one day. So she is from here, and she want to practice in Spanish, so she want to learn, so I help her with this. And yeah, yeah we did a French great. So yes. what made you come up with a theme for your chapter? Okay, so, um, well, I'm, I'm an artist. Yes. So I studied okay. in, in Peru, and, um, but I, I'm always a dif very different, like other students, like, you know, always, always. So it's boring for me being the same like oh, 45 <laughs> years old so today is a birthday happy birthday because all my life i'm looking for something to make me woman to make me mom to make me us you know so i'm i'm looking for um well before i'm i i i be a mom i you know i I'm, i look for I, I research different techniques, everything. But when I found this technique, I say, oh wow, that's me. So I connect at the same time with the technique because I, no, it was amazing. So I, I wanna tell you some, how I start. I moved from my country, from Puerto Rico. Then I moved to Wisconsin. I have the opportunity to participate in one project in the Children Museum to create a big painting to the uh, Children uh -huh. Museum to fill with their fingerprints and everything. So I I um, I do the directions to everybody one, one week about, about Peru at the Children Museum. Okay. So it was my first advent. I moved to Tennessee. I need to move because my husband's work and I need to move for, for different uh, states. And um, I have the experience, my first art show. So I have a support for everybody when I study English at the um, um, little groups of people from different countries so they have a community classes so I'm trying to improve my English and um, when I um, after it I moved to Naperville so I um, I was one 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 year I think and I need to come back to my country came back to my country I say oh well two years well what am I doing study so I went in the um, in the um, academy the jury academy so I went there and one of my teachers mentioned the name of my sculpture teacher in the past so she started to teach us the Peruvian technique and she say, Juan Pacheco is the creator. I say, Juan Pacheco, oh my gosh, he was my teacher. When he created that? That is awesome. I need to call him. So I called him. I saw his art. He created his sculptures with the 
while they're pushing. He told me he's fire in the playing gas technique, and he found some, you know, some some looks like a, they found like a bones or something with the form like a crochet hook. So they used that. So he moved this idea to in the future to create jewelry and wire crochet so he teach me what I want to do I say no I want to do sculpture with everything that. because I follow him for all places so I he, he went to the museum and I said I just follow him it worked really funny really really funny so I went I spent like a month follow him for every places to crochet so I took more practice close my teacher so I study more courses like more classes about the jewelry maker but I'm still thinking in create something you know and he teach me something and I create other things different so when I came back to my to here I joined to the galleries I joined to the Naperville Arley, to the DuPage Arley, and so, was your class. I'm going to just interrupt. What led you to the gallery 200? Oh! <laughs> see, I can see it's amazing. Naperville and DuPage. It is amazing. So, I participated in the art show. Um, it's the fine art show every year at the St. Thomas Art, uh, um, the St. Thomas Church in Naperville. So I met a person who knows people in Naperville Arlick. He introduced me Naperville Arlick. So I joined a member to be in the Naperville Arlick. My friend Laura told me I could join to the DuPage Arlick. So she invited me to be a part of the DuPage Arlick. One day, <laughs> <laughs> since I think three years ago, um, Heidi and March was oh, March Hall. yeah March Hall was in the uh, wire crochet demonstration I did at the DuPage Art League, and they saw me with a few people and they say, "Why you have a few people in your demonstration? You need to have a lot of people to see your wire demonstration." So. They invite me to be a part of the member. Oh, the okay. Gallery 200. So, yeah. So, because I was name, wondering if I, I said I could connect. see because you live in Naperville. Right? Yes. Okay, I could see you getting in Naperville and I could see you getting into the new page, but it's like, okay, now how did you wind your way yeah. up to here? And it's amazing because my first steps in the art gallery, in the Naperville Art Gallery, I couldn't talk in English like <laughs> with you. So I can't believe it because um, Debbie Venetia was, the, I don't know if you met her, she was the the, um, the person who was in charge of the Naperville Art League when I joined in the Naperville Art League. And she, I don't understand what happened, but she connected me with everybody. I had my first, exhibit with the women around Illinois in the museum in Aurora. Oh wow. So I had the opportunity just when I joined the, the Naperville Art League and I did only wearable art. I didn't do, do did, uh, um, mixed media art with wire crochet. So about the mixed media, <laughs> it's a terrible one. So about the mixed media is one day I have a, a wire crochet demonstration and oh my gosh I'm 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 I have to tell you <laughs> because it's funny I I met a one person she she is an artist and musician and she 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 surprised with the demonstrations too. so she showed me her art I wanted to see her art and she said oh. I use a special glue to paste bits like bits and on the top of the canvas. So she created a bit canvas art. Okay. Okay. So I told her, oh my gosh, I want to do maybe something with the wire crochet with this. So she she went like that day 
it and she disappeared. She tell me what kind of what what is the glue she used and she said it's six thousand. Don't forget it and she disappeared. <laughs> I never saw her never a special no, message. after. So it's funny because she went in her car inside her car and she went outside and said, Don't forget this <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And I started mixed media art with wire crochet. 